For Sun West 2 News at noon, we are working to find out more details about Bob Saget's death. Right now, you're taking a live look from Chopper 2 above the Ritz Carlton in Orlando. This is where Saget died yesterday. Hotel staff found him in his room and deputies responded shortly afterward. Fans and co-stars have been reacting to that news. We will hear from them shortly, but first, let's check in with West News Marley Martinez. She is live at the Orange County Medical Examiner's Office. And Marley, what have you been able to find out? The medical examiner's office here in Orlando tells us they're trying to figure out how Bob Saget died. Right now, they are conducting examinations as so many people are shocked today. America's beloved TV dad, best known as Danny Tanner from Full House, was in Florida performing a couple of stand-up shows. On Friday, he performed at the Hard Rock in Orlando, where he posted on social media that it was the perfect show of the new year. The next day, on Saturday, he did another set in Jacksonville, where he shared his final post on Instagram a selfie the day before he died. He said he's back in comedy like when he was 26, finding his new voice and loving every moment of it. Saget was 65. In addition to Full House, he hosted America's Funniest Videos and had numerous appearances in other TV shows and movies. After a show in Jacksonville on Saturday night, he came back to Orlando. He was found dead in his hotel room at the Ritz Carlton Grand Lakes around four in the afternoon by the hotel staff. The Orange County Sheriff's Office says there were no signs of foul play or drug use. We don't know if anyone was staying with Saget at the Ritz. He was married and has three adult daughters. The medical examiner's office says they will send us a copy of the autopsy report as soon as it's available. Live in Orlando, Marley Martinez, West 2 News. All right, Mar